in the scarlet red sweaters, pants, socks with white trim. They are the away team, the lower seed, Boston College and the home whites with the maroon and gold trim. And opportunity there for McPhee as it gave this to now a long shot to the point and a goal just like that. Boston College is on the board in the first minute of play. 46 seconds in and it's Connor Moore, the sophomore defenseman out of coming Georgia. Fires one for the point. First shot, first goal, one nothing Eagles. Well, how about Connor Moore? Big goal last weekend against Merrimack. How about tonight, too? McPhee picks it up, tries to dangle past two guys on the Terriers. Can't get it, and the puck goes right back to Moore. A right shot on the left side opens up, and they kind of goes against the grain. A little fadeaway slap shot. Some guys with size who can go to the net and create havoc for that goal. It's a turnover here, and a rebound, and a terrific save by Ottinger. Rebound! Swooping in was David Cotton with a chance to make it a 2 nothing lead. So good as a freshman if there was some pressure there to be had after being a first round draft pick. Yeah, I'm sure there was. Here's a nice little look up tight as Ottinger is going to stop the opportunity by Zach Walker. They're getting over. Anchoring the yeah. timeout. See that nod right there from goaltender Wall to Kachuk. There's some respect there. The guys know each other well from the U.S. program. Finding the puck though as Joe Wall puts the glove down the stick in front of him too. The matchup, well, what we've seen, Rossin in out there a couple of times against the Greenway line. Rossin an important player. And Cockrell, 19 points on the season, has a nice comfort level, high skill type of player. When I was talking to David Quinn about him yesterday, just says he's had that natural progression as he of a freshman. He gets it, spins it in one motion, tries to go low blocker. 16.39 left in the second after that call. Double call. Yeah, I take a look at Logan Hutsko and Jordan Greenway in the box. Puck in front, score! Just like that off the faceoff. It came out in front to Julius Matila, and he buries his 13th goal of the season, and the Eagles have a 2-0 lead. Just a mistake of coverage in front of the net and wing wide open is Julius Matila, the sophomore out of Finland. One times the puck in after BU doesn't handle the puck well. Watch the pursuit off the faceoff here. Cotton gets on the inside. Poor pass to the middle or behind the net. Wide open in the middle of the ice is Julius Matila. BU. Eagles with uh, six shots already this period. They have five all of the first period. Now the opportunity, score! Puck came away to the far side and patiently. Amonti was there and he buries it. And Terrier Nation comes to life of the garden. All right, we've seen BU make two mistakes, and we've seen, actually it was three mistakes if you include the Bobo Carpenter turnover, and, and they've been scored on twice. Now, BU's going to take advantage of a turnover right here as the puck by Carroll is turned up into a very sloppy kind of pass, a little hesitant pass. Almonte showing some excellent skill after getting the puck going backwards and getting it past the goaltender wall. Hank Crone. And with the faceoff draw, it is Boston University taking it in. Greenway got it started. Chris now slides it across. Score! Just like that. The quick strike capability of the Terriers tying this game up at two apiece. They've dressed seven defensemen in this game, but Ference has played a lot of forward this year. This is going to be a nice play by Chad Chris, and he's going to get it over to Ference, who uses the one-timer. As BU is going to move the puck up the ice, now they're going to get speed and transition to the neutral zone. Watch the play right there by Chris. Hits the line, waits and waits, and everybody from BC is looking over to the right. Meanwhile, coming in on the right wing side is Ference. I think, oh, there you can see a BU, a PC player, I think it was Dudek, had fallen down. And that gives us. There with Melanson. Greenway had already gone off. Melanson's waiting, or I beg your pardon, it's Ference that's waiting. Here comes Melanson to the front. And then also kind of coming in stealth right there. You, you end up seeing the pass. Watch right here. Bowers is going to wait. Bowers exits that area where he, there's a man that's guarding him, and he goes to an area where nobody is. An excellent little pass because Kachuk had already taken a look out of the left over his left shoulder of what was going to happen.
he was still able to turn it into a good shot. Yeah, but again, this is all starts with the breakout. And here comes Ty Amonti with speed through the neutral zone. Amonti's going to break to the backhand, tries to get it over, and he does hit the backhand of Crohn, as you mentioned. Just gets a little bit handcuffed. But the pass through the legs of the defender, Matilek, over to the backhand. The skate can't get slapped in from Crone. I've, I've really enjoyed what I've seen from the Amonti. Body prote uh, protection. Greco's up at the red line, or the blue line, trying to stretch things out. Here comes Brown, dish wide, gets it back to the middle of the ice, protects it to the back end, but a nice little... Re hey, nice save. The pass across from Greenway is going to end up eventually over. Watch right, Greenway's going to pull up, cross over to Melanson, comes, or Kachuk to Melanson, and Melanson's re quick redirection, stoned by the left pad, left glove, or the glove of Wall. Excellent acceleration over power save with the ball, uh, the uh, the mitt. Remaining as uh, the Eagles battling on the power play to get the lead. Fitzgerald with the shot from the point. Rebound off the blocker side of Ottinger. And then the great recovery save. And then the scramble comes. And I love that play there by Hickey. Doesn't cover it with his hand. His body is right there. Pretty stellar play. Not to make it, make sure not to bring it in with your hand, cover it in that area. I think everybody knows it follows hockey in that grease area. If he'd covered it with his hand, would have been a penalty shot. Greenway comes out of the box. McPhee finds Kim. It's blocked. McPhee gets it back. Save made, rebound, score! No! Yeah, that was Light it. Light came on. Referee said no. Whistle blows. We'll sort it out. Looked like it went in the net to me. It did. It went in the and net. And I believe it was Brown. We'll see who got that shot away, but I think that's going to be a Boston College goal. Now let's see if there's any goalie interference on this play as there was a plethora of bodies in front of the net. It was Brown, I think, that came in to hammer that one home. As the shot here, the pass, I mean, is made by McPhee. Here's the shot by Kim. It's blocked. Great play by McPhee to corral it on the back end. Right there, clearly in the back of the net. The official Miller is looking... He's, he's trying to look for the puck. He doesn't see it. What you're going to see now, does Dudek push the goaltender Ottinger out of the way and not allow him to come back? Again, super slow motion makes it seem like you know, it's not a big deal, but there's a body in the crease and Ottinger can't reach back to make a save. Is this the same thing that we saw a while early in the third period when BU's goal was nullified? McPhee with beautiful quick hands, holds on to it on the back end, off the post, off the leg, Dudek to the front. Dudek, does he catch Ottinger? Or are they going to say that Melanson interferes with his own net minder? It would stand as the ninth of the year for Christopher Brown if it stands. And again, it, it, a big melee there, but Dudek... Greg, the associate coach on the bench. Brother Patrick Brown played at uh, Boston College as well. J.D. Dudek and McPhee now in front. Score! We're tied again! Just like that, Melanson holds his ground, gets the puck, and ties it up with 434 to go. All about the cycle. This line has been dominant in the third period. Dominant. Greenway, Kachuk, Melanson. We just touched upon Melanson a couple of minutes ago that he does a lot of the dirty work. Here he takes the hit to make the play. Then he gets himself to the front of the net. Watch 23. He's going to recycle. He's going to wait to the middle of the ice. Greenway's puck protection allows for space and created. And Melanson to the front. The defender does not pick the stick of Melanson. Kim goes down. Fitzgerald can't get there. He's caught in between. And Melanson streaking down that, that mid right side. Here you don't see Greenway just yet. Chris is going to try and get in the play right there. He's looking to see if he can get it to Greenway. And instead of leaving it for him, he spins to take that shot. Melanson trying to jump out of the way. Right, look at Greenway coming in. Leave it for him. No, he's not going to. Instead, he takes the spin shot. Wolf follows it the whole way. Now a bat. Nifty Finn dances to the front. Look, he fakes and he steps right around. Bobo Carpenter falls victim to the old trick. I'm going to go back. Nope, I'm going forward. Nifty threw him, then tries to go five-hole, but Ottinger covers it quickly. Yeah, I said turnover. I was wrong. He Here comes Hutz go back. Look at this. Heads up play. A little give and go right here. Matila's going to wait. Get it back to the middle of the ice. Cotton shot off the right pad of the goaltender, Ottinger. There was only 15 seconds when that happened. BU was thinking, oh, it's going to be all right. Now you
play in, well, in overtime so far, Ottinger has been a big difference as he has, he has tracked the puck well. That was a good textbook save. Here he's going to get bowled into by Hutsko, who, as they deemed, went in on his own merit. Here he gets the paddle down, and then he's reading the play. I like this one right there. Hold it. Find it out on the ice. I'm going to try to make something happen. Cross ice pass here. He's got gap right now. Chris can't get to him enough. Drive. Excellent protection with that left leg blocking Chris's stick and then keeping the puck far enough out. Tries to slide it underneath. Can't elevate it. So, guys. And hustling up is Bowers. Bowers with Pobo Carpenter. But Carpenter had to stop to avoid being offside and then couldn't generate the speed after the dead stop of the blue. Well, and Bowers thought he was pulling into the middle. Here's a turnover in front. Point blank. Score! Just the third goal of the season for Patrick Curry, who goes to the left side, the doorstep, up to the blocker side of Wall. The puck is pushed out. Cockrell takes the hit. Here comes Bowers at straight line speed, staying on site as Carpenter. All right, now nothing happens here. McPhee's going to try and get it out. Excellent play by Carpenter, who puts the puck down low. Watch 11 coming in. Nice move right here by Bowers. Bowers tries to stuff it in front, and it goes right over perfectly to Curry, who is spicy tonight. You like that, TC? I do. As he puts it in. Beautiful play by Bowers. I mean, you want to talk about shielding the defender from the puck and doing a great job. That's Michael Carroll, who can't get to it because of Bowers' headiness. I think he's trying to stuff it in, quite honestly, there. And instead, that's a great heads-up play from Curry, too. Not getting too deep. Staying a half a stride outside the crease area. And he wins it for BU.